All right, so this is the first of uh, four example videos uh, for uh, ellipses. Um, so if you have any questions about what's going on in here, um, you know, just check with me uh, in class or uh, come see me during one of my planning periods. So um, when we're starting in general form here, remember the first thing that we want to do is uh, rearrange a little bit. So I'm going to uh, rearrange to put my x's together. So I have 4x squared plus 56x, and then I'm going to put my y's together. So I have 9y squared plus 36y, and I'm going to move my constant over to the other side. So basically, I'm going to, since it's minus 92 over here, I'm going to add 92 to both sides. So is equal to 92. Then I need to complete the square for the x terms, and I need to complete the square for the y terms. And in order to complete the square, my leading coefficient, so for my x's it's 4, and my leading coefficient for my y's, which is 9, it's got to be 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a 4, from my x term, so now my leading coefficient is 1, so I'm going to have x squared plus 14x plus something that's going to go there, I'll fill that in in a second, and then I'm going to factor out a 9, and then I've got y squared plus 4y, again, plus something over here, and then I've got my 92 on this side. Now, I'm adding 4 times whatever goes in here, so then I'm going to have 4 times whatever goes in that spot, plus 9 times whatever goes in this spot, so 9 times whatever goes in that spot. All right, so to figure out what goes here to complete the square, I'm going to take half of my x term, so that's going to be 7, and square it. So this is going to be a 7 squared. Take half of 4, so that's 2, and square it. So this is a 2 squared. So then, uh, finishing completing the square, I'm going to have 4, and then this, uh, this trinomial factors to x plus 7 squared. And then I'm going to have 9, and then y plus 2 squared. And then all of these uh, terms on the right-hand side is going to simplify to 324. All right, for my ellipse, it's got to equal to 1. So I'm going to divide by 324, so then it's equal to 1. So I'm going to divide this term by 324 then, and also divide this term by 324. So reducing 4 over 324, um, I get 1 over 81. So this becomes x plus 7 squared over 81. And then 9 over 324, that reduces to 1 over 36. So I've got y plus 2 squared over 36, and then it equals 1. And there is our standard form. So we started with the general form. We ended with the standard form. A um, few more things uh, if you, we, we should talk about for this problem. Um, remember, A is always larger, so I know that A is going to be under the X term, so this one's going to be horizontal. And I know that uh, A squared is 81, so that means that A is 9. And I know that B squared is 36, so that means that B is 6. And... I also know that my center, my center is HK, so it's going to be negative 7 and negative 2. All right, and once I have A and B in my center, I could go ahead and find uh, vertices and foci if I wanted to. Um, we'll do that in the next example. But I do want to go ahead and find C. So I know that C squared is going to be A squared minus B squared, so that's 81 minus 36. Uh, which is going to be uh, 545. Uh, okay, so that means that uh, C is going to be square root of 45, which is going to be um, 3 root 5, if I did my calculations correctly. If I didn't, let me know in class. All right, that's it.